Oh, it's freezing out here. Okay, Google, what is the temperature right now? It's cold. It's minus 17 degrees in Orléans on K4A4X3 right now. I have no idea what that K4AX3 is that. What is that? What? Oh, it's trying to give me a postal code or something right now. Oh, that's strange. Okay, maybe that's where I am. Anyways, it's freaking cold out here. I've got the Osmo Pocket running. Hopefully it hasn't froze up on me. And uh, I do have a hat. Everybody always says, why don't you put a hat on? I got this hat. I don't know if I showed you this in another video. My videos are all over the place. You know, I'm recording this in the month of January. You might see this in February or March. I have no idea. So, or maybe you'll see it in January, but check out this hat I got in the mail. It says right here, look at this. Maybe you saw it in another video. It says drone pilot. So that means I'm authorized to fly a drone. Is that crooked, straight? All right, so the pilot, the pilot, the drone I'm gonna fly today is this one here, the Autel Evil. Well, I'm not really gonna fly it much. Uh, it's minus 17 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna take the Autel Evo. I'm gonna do like I always do. I'll go stick it out in the snow over here and uh, I'll let it acclimate to the minus 17. And the last time, the last few times I did this, uh, I did this with a DJI Mavic 2 Pro before. And people asked me, hey, you know these batteries, you can read the temperature on your controller. It would have been interesting to see what the temperature was. So sure, I'm going to leave the battery in this time and I'll just stick the drone out there. I'm just going to see if I can even get it to start up and even take off the ground, then I'll land it. And then I'll put a warm battery on. I'm not going to fly it with a cold battery because that's just going to, that would just cause problems. So I have a warm battery and a cold battery. So I'll leave this outside. I'll let it get to minus 17. So it means it's got to sit outside for about 20 minutes and then it should be minus 17. So I'm just going to throw it over there in the snow and uh, then we'll give it a shot. So let's do that next. Heading out into the snow here, I'm just going to plop down my little Evo right over here. There's nobody around. It's a big open field. So if anything should go wrong, well, then my Evo will just crash in the snow. So here we go. Put this down. Why would anybody fly a drone in cold like this? It's insane. Stick my Evo here. And uh, look at that, it's just sliding around. <laughs> it is like ice. A little layer of ice top. Okay, so that's cold snow. It's cold. All right, Evo, you're going to be sitting there for a little while. See you in a bit. Probably hear me a little bit better. Radio's down. And uh, let me just turn off the fan. And now, hey, there's a guy walking dogs out there. Holy crap. I don't know if you can see that over there. Got a bunch of dogs. That's cold. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. So up here on my dash, I have my little battery for the Autel Evo. This one has been kept very, very warm. So this one is the one I'm gonna fly with, but I'm gonna test out the one that's way out there. Um, that one's been sitting out for 20 minutes in the cold and we'll see if the Evo even starts. All right, take my controller right here. It's all set to go, we're all set. Now there is a wind today and it's coming from that way, which makes the minus 17 degrees Celsius feel like, well, probably like minus 25 degrees Celsius. That's what it feels like. But uh, let's go check out how cold our Evo is. It's like Arctic weather. So let's test this, see if this thing works. Right now it says the motors are minus 17 degrees Celsius. Perfect. Let's check the battery. The battery, it says, it, well, it says it's minus 19. How can the battery be colder than outside? Let me just check that. Yeah, it says, it, oh, minus 16. Ladies and gents, the big moment. All right, let's turn this on. See if it even turns on. Let's get my finger out here so I can get this right. Do we have sound? The battery's lit up. Nothing's happened. Oh, here we go. Oh, I hear sound. Look at that. Listen, it's starting. That battery's frozen. Let me put, turn on the controller. There we go. Got the controller on. We're going to check this and see what's going on here. So I hit go fly. It's going self-checking. I have no warnings yet. Self-checking. Oh, low battery temperature. I have a warning right on the screen, but it's not telling me not to fly. Let me go check what the battery temperature is showing on here. Well, that's not bad. It must sense the battery has a self discharge. Check this out. It's keeping itself warm. Right now the battery is showing minus 1.1 degrees Celsius. Huh, interesting. And uh, it's at 98%. So it's been sitting out here. The whole drone is frozen, but the battery seems to be okay. So I'm just gonna see if I can even start it. Watch this, let's see, let's back up here. So if I was in the Arctic flying, holy crap, it starts. <laughs> everything's working on it. 
I've got the low battery temperature already. I'm just going to take it up a bit and I'm not going to fly it. I'm just going to hover it. Well, she's hovering. Low battery temperature. Sensors work. I think they work. Yep, yeah, I'm in front. So that still works. Let's see the camera, if the camera still works. You can see that Evo's on an angle because of the wind blowing this way. It's blowing it. But uh, that's pretty decent. Let's see how much power it has with that low battery. No! <laughs> Check that. I'm going to go full up. Watch how fast it goes. Full up. I can, my grandma can climb faster than that. That is frozen. Oh, it's massively frozen. Yeah, it comes down fast, but it won't go up fast. And what about forward movement? Let's try this forward movement. It's in normal speed. That's not too bad. It's not fast. It really could not get a lot of power. It's still giving me the warning for low battery. So I'm going to put her down. I'm impressed. You know, I did not think that it would even take off because the battery is so freaking cold. But I guess it self heats itself with it because it has a discharge. If you ever notice, these batteries are smart batteries. In order, to, in order for them to discharge, they have to constantly trickle charge themselves to uh, keep on getting rid of power and that carries on so i guess that's uh, that's what's doing i don't know i'm not a i'm not a scientist so let me put the warm battery in and show you the difference even my look at my even my phone's having problems in the cold here and i'm gonna put that's the cold battery battery number two is cold and there we go battery number one this is the one that was sitting in my car so it's nice and toasty warm let's put you on and we'll see a huge difference there we go. Oops. <laughs> Shouldn't slam that when it's cold. That was probably a bad idea. And power you on. I have no warnings with this battery. I'll just show you the screen. No warnings whatsoever. Start it up. A lot better. Now watch the difference. That's a warm battery on there. Now watch me go up. Way up fast. Come down, flies normally. And if I take it forward, moves nicely. I could fly away out there, fly up, fly around in the cold, no problem. I've got to go in full speed. Well, that's full speed on normal. And let's bring it back over to my little landing pad and we'll bring it down. To all you evil lovers out there, hey, it's a pretty good drone. I'm pretty impressed. I thought only the DJI drones would be able to uh, fly in super cold weather, but this here Autel Evo seems to have no problems. Look at the gimbal, no problem. It works, still works. Everything's great about it. And uh, yeah, even the frozen battery is working. So, hey, thumbs up to Autel. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up and we'll see some more frozen drone videos in the future. Take care.